Let's look at an example to help illustrate some fundamental properties of energy. Let's look at a pendulum, which is just a mass attached to a string. To keep things simple, we'll assume it's idealized, so we can disregard things like friction. If the pendulum starts with a mass at its lowest position without any motion, nothing happens and it stays in that position. However, we can add energy to the system by lifting the mass up to a new position. This spatial repositioning of the mass against the force of gravity means the system now has potential energy or energy associated with a position. Where did that energy come from? Our body did work on the mass. Our muscles contracted to produce a force in opposition to gravity that was applied over a distance up to the new height of the mass. In fact, the muscles expended energy which originated from the food that we ate. We know there is energy in the new position of the mass since when we let go, all of a sudden, the mass is set in motion to begin swinging. Notice that as the pendulum swings, it will move from one height on one side to its low point and back to the same height on the other side. That makes sense since we assumed the system was ideal without friction, so there should be no energy losses as it moves. If there was a potential energy associated with the pendulum mass on one side, we'd expect to see the mass reach the same height which represents the same energy when swinging to the other side. But there's something strange here. If the mass swings through the bottom position of the pendulum, doesn't that mean that the energy is zero there since the height is zero? And if so, where did the energy go? It's true that the potential energy, which is the energy of position or height in this case, is indeed zero at the bottom position. However, Recall that the law of conservation of energy means that energy is never lost. It can only be transformed into another kind of energy. In this example, the energy of the mass at the bottom of the pendulum position is now entirely converted into the form of kinetic energy or the energy of motion. The kinetic energy here is exactly equal to the energy that we put into the system in the form of potential energy. Here, the mass is moving at its fastest speed, which is also why the pendulum continues through this point, steadily slowing down until it reaches its peak, where all of the kinetic energy has been fully reconverted into potential energy.